Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've not had a lot of time to do videos the last couple of weeks since Hurricane Helene came through. I've been doing, you know, brush cleanup, tree cleanup, flood cleanup, things like that. Uh, all kind of stuff, been real busy. Uh, but today I'm going to try to give you kind of a sneak, I don't know if it's a sneak peek video, but regardless, I took a vacation day today so I could test and tune with different things, try out some products. So let me show you what I'm working with. So first, uh, see the folding solar panels here. These are All Powers' SO33 panels. You may have seen this set right here in a previous video. Uh, here's another set. This is an updated set right here. I'm gonna give you a full video on all this soon, but just wanted to let you know if you're looking into folding panels. Uh, this All Powers SO33 is 22 volts open circuit. The new sets right here are 44 volt open circuit. So you can charge 24 volt batteries or their power stations with the new ones right here. So these were right here, 11 volts per, per cell. So they series and paralleled for the old set. The new set is straight series, 11, 11, 11, 11. And this one right here punches out a lot more power in series wired versus this one in series parallel at the lower voltage. Let me just show you. So I got the little Sycon right here. This is my little ripper battery. I charge this one up, rip it right back down. I've been beating the snot out of this battery. So far, it's doing good. But anyhow, this is the old solar panel right here, the old SO33. See, putting out seven amps at 12.8 volts. So, you know, not a whole lot of power coming out of that one. And then over here, we've got a EnjoyBot 24 volt battery. And it's on the new, you know, the higher voltage panel right there. Uh, they're they're close enough to the same same angle for comparative purposes and i got it on the old battery uh charge controller right here so i'm trying to get you a reading on what this one's doing get here in the shade say 130 watts hope you can see that so that one's punching out quite a bit more power with the series wire versus the series parallel at the higher voltage uh, according to all powers these have been started shipping since the first september and their listings actually reflect the change in voc on these panels and the Bose rv6 thin cell still on top of the golf cart roof look at all the the filth and the dirt and the scratches on it still making power still no problems with it at all uh, the golf cart has been swapped over to lithium now so yes, I finally got that done in between all the nonsense going on the last couple of weeks. I got her swapped over. Um, you can see the little charging port right there on the sides. You just plug it in, you know, like an EV, like at the gas station, plug in the cord right there. Onboard charger takes care of it. I'll give you a quick sneak peek of that in just a second. There's the SIG thin cell dumping in 70 watts. There is the lithium battery right there. XRH new energy, baby. Uh, big old monster battery sitting right here in the baggage compartment of the golf cart. Why in the baggage compartment? Well, you'll have the full video on that here in a few days. Nice display for the XRH New Energy battery. Check that out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Been performing great. I'll give you full testing on that coming up. And then the All Powers S2000 Pro. Uh, I've got the old style S2000, the Pro has a much better display and screen. You can see it is being put through its paces. I'm not bringing you reviews on stuff as it comes out of the box. I'm beating on this stuff, uh, using it for, for weeks before I even give you an opinion or thought on it. So I think that's more reliable information if I actually use it for, for a time before I bring you uh, any kind of reviews to let you know if there's any problems. So this one's been beat on the back of this golf cart uh, for a few weeks now and instead of using that big battery back here and that inverter setup I showed you in a previous video you know this this only weighs like 28 pounds and that other setup weighed 55 pounds or so plus or minus was about 80 percent efficient this right here is getting about 88 to 90 percent efficient out of the battery so I'm getting uh, more portable power you know out of the battery and at a lighter weight so that's been working great for uses i use it to pump water out of the well things like that uh, charge e-bikes uh, and something when the golf cart batteries are full i use the sigs panel on top and plug into that so you know just just showing you some stuff i've been tinkering around with in my spare time now i'm using this 24 volt battery right here because it serves two purposes i can expand the capacity 
of the portable power station right there. It'll take capacity from here and up and into there. So you can see, you know, expanded capacity power station on the cheap. You know, this is down and dirty, uh, but you know, just, just showing you that. And also, uh, if I don't get enough charge from the thin cell panel, I take this battery and put it through my Boost MPPT charge controller sitting right there. So take this energy right here and dump it into the lithium battery, uh, the XRH battery on the golf cart. And even put a big old brush guard on the golf cart about three or four weeks ago. That's been holding up well. Uh, I've got it anchored in the frame twice as strong as the manufacturer recommends. I've been using it to pull rope, have pull rope on the front to drag limbs and stuff with. You know, I use the four-wheeler too sometimes, but this just doesn't require any fuel. I mean, it's, you know, you get some sun, charge it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a great work instrument. I've been hauling brush trailers with this, cleaning up trees on the property where, uh, where the storm tore everything up. So, you know, cleaning up for, for free and not costing, uh, costing anything but a little, little bit of sunshine. And an exactly one year update. It's been one year to the date since I installed these panels. Ignore the shading. These are past their peak of the day. I'm just letting you know for an update purposes. I bought these exactly one year ago. These are eco-worthy perk cell 150 watt panels. Day one, brand new cold weather. They made roughly 100 watts a panel. Well, one year later, this panel's failed. That panel's failed. Half of this one's failed. Half of this one's failed. I get about 150 watts out of this. Worst money I've ever spent on solar panels. So, you know, just telling you a personal experience with uh, eco-worthy solar panels. So this is all trash. Waste of time and money. And then there are the old lead-acid Duracell golf cart batteries. I've been topping them off, equalizing them, getting them ready to, uh, to tie in to the lithium iron phosphate system that's in the 12 volt power bunker that you have not seen yet. I have a dedicated video on all that coming up too. And also a big pile of AGMs sitting on the back of the power shed. And for reference, all this treated wood was salvaged uh, from floodwaters. <laughs> uh, you know, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So I got all kinds of treated wood, uh, you know, washed up driftwood. So, you know, I've been using it. There's no sense in throwing it away. It's good treated wood, it's straight. Uh, so I've been using uh, salvaged wood for stuff. And big changes have been made in the 12 volt power bunker. You can probably hear an inverter cooling fan running in the background. Uh, here's a little midnight solar charge controller. More on this later. So just giving you a little update to what I've been been doing in between storm clamp stuff. Love DC power. Uh, you know, this calms me down getting to work with uh, with different stuff and checking everything out. So just giving you an update. Look for more videos coming up. As time allows, I will get back to normal posting, things like that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Questions on anything or something you want to see first that I've showed you today, let me know and I'll try to cater to your, your needs or your wants. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Be safe and pray for everybody that's been affected by the hurricanes uh, in the southeast and Florida and everywhere. You all have a good day.